Today's devotion is on the second commandment. So we're, we're working our way through the Ten Commandments. The first commandment took us two days. I don't think the rest of them will. But we'll see. We'll see how the, how the game goes. The second commandment in Deuteronomy 5.11 says, You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. And I actually, I had a, a fairly long and I thought was interesting and helpful conversation on this topic yesterday. No, yes, Sunday. I'm recording this on Monday, so for me it was yesterday, but for you seeing this, it will probably be a couple days ago because this will come out on Tuesday. Beside the point. So, first of all, there is... I think what this directly speaks against is fairly obvious. It is using God's name in a false or a flippant or a um, or a disrespectful way. Okay, I think that all qualifies using the Lord's name in, in vain, and I think we can agree on that. And. Using God's name for oaths can be used in a positive way because you are building up the image and reputation of God's name. But if you take an oath in God's name, that is not an empty thing. You, you best follow through. And Matthew, in his gospel, actually encourages us not even to do that, to he encourages us, and I've done a devotion on this um, back in the Sermon on the Mount. He encourages us to live such an honest life that we can just say yes or no, and people said, that is good enough for me. So that would say, well, let's try to avoid taking oaths at all. But the question comes up, you know, what about in a courtroom when you were supposed to swear in the Bible? Um, I pl or I'm going to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. And I think that depends on your intention and where your where your mind is, where your heart is. Because if you are praying, if you are, if you're saying that as like a prayer, as a request to God to help you be honest and tell the truth, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You're praying, God help me. Um, but the, I think the toughest, co and this is a part, uh, this is a potential point of disagreement. And I think it is the way that we use God's name so casually. And the example I'm going to use is, quote, Oh my God, end quote. For a lot of people that is, first of all, it's used as kind of like a reaction, as like an, uh, an expletive reaction. Um, in the same way some people would swear, as some people would say, dang it. Uh, people say that instead. And I don't, I think that's in this commandment, that would be using the name of, of God in vain. And the other thing is people who just use it really casually, like, the, the point of this commandment is we are to show the utmost respect to God's name and use it in as respectful a way as we can. So I think prayer would qualify. Talking about him, learning about him qualifies as, as, as much respect as we can show the name of God. I think using it casually or um, because we sub stubbed our toe or because uh, someone said something we didn't like. These, for me, I believe would qualify as using the Lord's name in a vain, in a disrespectful way. But that's something, that's a conversation, I think, because they're, they're faithful people who disagree with me, who think that um, that's not really covered by the second commandment, and I'm not convinced, but there there's room for that discussion, I think. So... That's what I have for you today. Be, be careful with God's name. You treat it with respect because he tells us to. Um, 
With that, brothers and sisters, go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.